foolish person will reject Christ because they look around and they see people who claim to be Christian and they're being hypocrites. These people are not representing Christ properly and a foolish person will say that's my excuse for not serving Christ because I see these people and they're not good Christians. Christians are hypocrites. I'm not going to be a Christian. So they don't seek after God. This is a deadly mistake. You need to seek after Christ. Christ stands alone. His commandments are beautiful and they please God. And there is no excuse for rejecting Christ. These people will be accountable for misrepresenting Him. They will be judged. And to you who are misrepresenting Christ, shame on you. You shouldn't mention His name or let anyone know you're a Christian. It says, let all those who name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. So until you're living a blameless, righteous life, don't even claim to be Christian because you're bringing shame to the name of Christ. And to you who are rejecting Christ because of the hypocrisy in Christianity or the, the violent acts in the Bible or some excuse that you have, it's not going to work. Okay? Christ, Christ is your judge. He is your God. And there's no excuse. And He wants to rescue you. He wants to help you. And He's working on these people that you see who are hypocrites. He's, he's working on them. They're just like you, except they have a higher standards. And they don't meet them all, but they, they're they preaching to higher standards and they're maybe they're trying to live, live up to those standards, but they fall short sometimes. But um, just because a Christian is um, being a hypocrite in some areas of their life doesn't mean they're, God's not working on them, you know? And I've noticed a lot of times the devil, he sees somebody living for Christ and he does his best to get them to go astray. The devil is attacks the truth and that's what's happening so don't use these people as an excuse to reject Christ you know and Satan always rises up within non-Christians to point out all the mistakes of Christians look at that they did wrong they did that wrong they did this wrong Satan's always gonna exalt the sins of the Christians and make them look so bad and over exaggerate their sins and their mistakes in the eyes of the world. He puts a magnifying glass over your over the eyes of sinners and unbelievers into the Christian life, lives and exalts their sin and makes them um, to be look, look like hypocrites. But they're people and they have higher standards and they're still fighting the, fighting the good fight. So I hope this will help you th to think on these things. And don't reject Christ because there's hypocrites in the world. You know? Everybody deserves uh, some mercy and you got to understand people's situation. They're being developed. Christ is working on them. He's working some bad things out of their life and some of the bad things are still there, but he's helping. He's working for them. And Christ stands on his own. You are responsible for your own soul. And they also will be judged if they misrepresent Christ. So it's a very... It's a very touchy subject, but that's no excuse. Seek the Lord while he may be found, all right? Jesus is real. He rose from the dead to live in you. He loves you. He wants to set you free. He wants to free you from the enemy and turn you into a soldier, someone who represents Christ, someone who is a hypocrite at some times, at times in his life or in her life, but is working on it. And if they're not, they're being disciplined by God. So we're all humans and we all need mercy and don't let hypocrites keep you from the kingdom of God. A lot of people see the hip hypocrite Christians and say, if that's what Christ does in a person's life, I don't want anything to do with that. Well, why don't you seek after Christ yourself and see if you can do any better? See if God can make you holy and righteous if you can submit to Him in all the ways of righteousness and perfect love. And be a good example. Be a city on a hill. Aim for the stars. Aim past the stars. They say God lives past the stars, above the stars. 
So, all right, people. Nothing compares to the greatness of knowing the Lord.